today is Global Running Day. So today I'm going to run the Skyline Traverse here in Boulder. And what it does is it links up the five tallest mountains right here in town. It's about 17 or 18 miles. I'm gonna run it from my house. It'll be a little bit longer. But on this day, Global Running Day, I'm just uh, gonna be very grateful for being able to be a runner, to have a body that is strong enough to move me forward with my own two feet. And I've been running ever since I was a little kid. And it's been the greatest, one of the greatest gifts of my life. I absolutely, I love it. You know what's funny is I just reached for my helmet. It's so automatic when I leave my house, 95% of the time I'm putting on a bike helmet. But not today, I don't think I need a helmet when I'm running. I'm not that much of a klutz. Oh yeah, it is a beautiful day here in Boulder, Colorado. The sun is shining. So I don't often run with heavy backpacks, but this run kind of necessitates it because I need a lot of water. I have about two and a half liters of water and a lot of food and energy and gels, a rain jacket, because it's the Rocky Mountains, it might rain, and camera stuff. Look at that paraglider up there flying. That looks pretty fun. These are my backyard trails right here that I'm on. This is Wonderland Lake. This is where I go running pretty much every day. And where I'm heading right now to start the Skyline Traverse is over there, a mountain called Mount Sanitas. That's gonna be the first of five. Keep rabbit, keep rabbit. The crickets are out in force, and that is just a sure sign of summer. I forgot to mention that this is not gonna be a walk in the park. Today's elevation is going to be about 6,000 feet. Can you believe that? It's just nuts how pretty it is. All right, there it is. Boom, Mount Sanitas. And it doesn't look like I've gotten very far, but that's where I live, way out there. So I kind of have gone a distance. And that's where I'm headed for the rest of the day. Green Mountain, Bear, South Boulder Peak, Flagstaff Mountain. I think what I'm gonna do on top of every one of these mountains, the five mountains, I'm gonna talk about one different thing that I'm grateful for. The first one being, I'm extremely grateful that I am from this town. I was born right down there in Boulder Community Hospital, 1979. This is where I grew up. That's my city. That's where I went to high school, where I ran around, where I learned how to ride a bike. 300 days of sunshine a year. And uh, I'm also grateful that it's so green because later in the summer, this is usually pretty yellow. Usually before my bike rides, I say no flatties, no crashies, no whammies, but I'm gonna have to amend that to no crashies, <laughs> no trippy and follies and break my ankles. That's what I'm saying today. Hello. I like talking to myself. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little awkward when you talk to the camera around other people. They're like, what is that guy doing? These are the Red Rocks. Not to be confused with Red Rocks Amphitheater, which is also beautiful. Yes! Look at that. Are those rocks right there, that's Sanitas. That's where I just was. Here we are, Red Rocks right here. And then over there, it's the top of Flagstaff Mountain and behind that, the big boys, Green Bear and South Boulder Peak. You have a lot of good memories at this spot right here. I actually, in high school, I'd come up here and make out with my girlfriend, Carrie. Yeah, she went to Fairview High School though. I went to Boulder High, it's like a rival thing. And I think that's probably why it didn't work out. You just can't mix that blood, man. You can't mix the rival high school blood. Olé, 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 olé. This is Boulder Creek. It's raging right now, all the snow melts. Oh yeah. 
cold water always just kind of resets your body. This is my favorite street art in Boulder. It's a guy whose tag is Smile. And he makes these little stencil paintings and puts them all over town. I love them. And we are now heading up Flagstaff Mountain. And for those of you who come to Boulder in the winter, Flagstaff is where our Boulder Star is that we put up on Veterans Day and it lasts through the holidays. Big, beautiful star on the side of the mountain. This is the top of Flagstaff Mountain, kind of. I don't know if there really is a top, but this is the amphitheater and it's one of my happy places here in Boulder. I love coming up here when I'm riding my bike and just chilling out. You know, I've always thought it'd be a cool place to, to get married someday, you know? Make everybody ride their bikes up here, you know, get some electric rickshaws for the grandmas. But I mean, isn't this an epic place to say I do? I am grateful that I found running very early on in life. I started running when I was like six and I've been a runner ever since. I've loved it. You know, I ran through high school and I've never been a really competitive runner, but I've always been a runner. And running to me is just, it's just about getting outside and being in nature and breathing fresh air. And I hope that I'll be able to, to run for the rest of my life. I mean, it's such an important part of who, my, who I am. I wake up most days, I eat some cereal, and I go running. And uh, I love it. I really do love it. <laughs> Be aware, mountain lions and bears can be dangerous. Duh. You know, I've lived here all my life. I've never seen a mountain lion. I've definitely seen a few bears, but mostly when I see bears, they're like digging trash out of people's trash cans and back alleys. Um, now that I say that, I'm probably gonna see both today. Probably a mountain lion riding on the back of a bear and they're gonna come charging after me. And, well, it's just gonna, gonna have to wrestle them or cuddle them. One of the two. Nature is neat. These are some of the first views of the big mountains here in Colorado. The Rockies. That John Denver was not full of shit. And it looks pretty stormy over there. <laughs> That's why you try to do your physical activities early in the morning here in Colorado, because you don't know what's gonna happen in the afternoons. of stairs. Oh, oh, there it is. Boom. Oh. Whew, that is a march. I forgot how difficult that was. And if you walk over to this side of Green Mountain, you have a view of beautiful Boulder Town. That guy right there is Bear Peak. That's where I'm heading next. Behind those trees is South Boulder Peak. It's time for Mr. Grateful. I am grateful that I have the time to do something like this on a Wednesday morning. I realize that most people don't have the opportunity or ability to do something like this. And I'm very grateful that I have a life, that I've created a life where I can go out and spend five, six hours running. You know, it's a total privilege. And I, I realize how, how fortunate I am. I'm really liking this part of the trail. It's not technical. It's pretty flat. You can kind of get your stride going again. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is starting to burn. You're not going to believe this, but look who's out here today. The one, the only, take a guess right now before I turn around the camera, Dana! <laughs> How's it going? It's going great. It's a beautiful. We've already day. done three mountains. I know, and these ones are close. This is the scrambling part of bear. I mean, you guess you could run it if you're like a total beast, but nah. I was just on top of that one. That's true. And then that one further. Then I live way, way out there. That's the north side of Boulder. There it is, right behind me. Where those dudes are standing. Boulder looks so good right now. Boulder is looking its best. 
And all of you out there who know the story of Dave Mackey, the runner, this is where he had his tragic accident and slipped down the mountain and a boulder crushed his leg. So, so we have to be careful. We have to be careful, that's what I'm saying here. Look at this, our little cheerleader at the top of Bear Peak. What's up, bud? And now this is, we have a special gratitude guest. Dana is probably oh. one of the humans on the planet who has inspired me most about uh, just sharing your gratitude with the world. Recently, I am super grateful. And this might sound a little boulder hippie-ish or something, but every single day I wake up for real and I'm grateful for everything I still have. I think you and I talked about this, like, you know, as you get older and stuff, like, you know, Ryan's in his prime, whatever, but, um, you 40. know, you, like, just, you know, you're going to lose everything, like, eventually, when yeah. people talk about, you know, back in the day, back in the day, yeah. but, so it's so easy to wake up and be like, oh, I'm so grateful for everything I have today, yeah. like, my health, my relationships, my wife, for sure, family my businesses, and friends. family, all of it, like, I'm just so... I have more today than I may ever have. Oh, Isn't that I awesome? Love that. that is awesome. Yeah, so I'm super grateful for it. And I, I'm going to play off that. I'm grateful for you and our friendship. I mean, we're kind of an odd Aww, couple in a we way. Are. <laughs> we, we are so oddball. Like, that, how did we find each other? But know, we did, but... and you've really enhanced my life in so many ways and filled my heart with love and joy and supported me on so many adventures and when I have really tough breakups I come crying to you and when I'm going through whatever hard thing or joyous thing you're always there so I, th I think that's what works with us we just <laughs> recognize the joy yeah and the adventure exactly that's it I love you Ryan I love you too oh. <laughs> We did it! That's number cinco! I love you, Rocky! <laughs> What's all that about, Dana? We hear that one a lot, don't we? We do hear that one a lot. Well, we do this these love shout-outs, so whenever we climb really high, like even bikes or, yeah. or hiking or whatever, when we climb really high and there's something that beautiful, we do love shout-outs just to like bring the vibration energy of that person to us, and so... Yeah. Yeah, maybe you want to do one now. Yeah, um, I could I could do so many, but um, I know. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Sarah, Ethan, Logan. <laughs> yeah, he I, can't leave anyone out. Yeah, I can't leave anybody out. <laughs> this is like an acceptance speech at the Oscars. Yeah. Dana and I have done a lot of adventures together, but we have never run. Isn't that funny? I know we're not. Well, I'm not a real runner. <laughs> I mean, a run, a little. But. Yeah. Dana, though, I'm going to say some things about her that will blow your mind. When she was younger, she was a phenom. She ran a 32-minute 10K. What? What? That's crazy. Well, I'm glad we got to run on World Running Day. World Running Day. Woo! Woo! Thank you all for, for watching and, and joining us on our little adventure. I hope you got out for a run today or you get out for a run tomorrow. Get off that couch and, uh, you know, Dana, any, anything to say? Mm, I'm super grateful. <laughs> Still, get off. What is it? Get off. Get off your couch. Get out there. That's <laughs> right. Get out there. Get on. Get. Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>